Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Play. And today we're gonna check out the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Now these are kind of like a sequel slash prequel to the original trilogy that came out back on the DS. Man, it's been a lot of going back to DS library of games coming out these days, huh? So It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I mean, first we had The World Ends With You. We had a sequel to that. And now we have the Ace Attorney games. Now, I was a huge fan of uh, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, back on the DS days. I played the original trilogy when it first came out, finished all of them. So these games... Uh kind of got released in Japan on is the first time they were or they are just released now apparently like in the English language and they bundled them up together basically it's like a detective slash lawyer game where you have to investigate the cases take on your clients Try to prove their innocence. You're a defense attorney. And this one, you play the great ancestor of Phoenix Wright, who's just the original protagonist of the original games. Ooh, look at that beautiful animation, huh? The Empire of Japan. After opening its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought great waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. But for one man... Uh -oh. It all starts with a murder. It's just the beginning of an extraordinary story. <gasps> Episode 1 The Adventure of the Great Departure. Twenty second November, 8.43 a.m. Supreme Court of Shoot Catcher, Defendants, Antichamber 5. Oh man, I remember that sound. The, 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 the thing, how it comes up. Man, this takes me back to the DS. Well, DS was such a great library. Still can't believe it, still can't believe this is happening. How can it be just beyond the door in this little quiet little chamber? It's the high score of Japan. Where you decide my fate? Damn. Are we the ones being accused of murder? We have to defend ourselves on our own trial? Oh, no, nothing. Save your glass, murderer. Jesus. Sorry. My name is Ryunosuke Nobuo. I'm a second year student at the Prior Yomi University. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident, and now here I am awaiting my trial. That's enough. He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. And who are you? I am this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. Lawyer? Yes, that's what the judge has given his verdict on the case. No one has the right to treat him as a criminal. So you will hold your tongue. Technicalities. Look at you. You haven't even graduated yet. Now I gotta tell you something. Yeah, these these uh, Phoenix Wright games, these Ace Attorney games, there's still nothing quite like them. They're really good, these cases. You got all these plot twists going on. And yet, I still seem to know better than you how a court officer would behave. Right, Ryunosuke. Ryunosuke. Why does he have a sword? You know what I mean? It's quite crazy. 
What are you apologizing to me for? Oh, I, uh, no, I suppose that wasn't my fault. But really, Kazuma, I never meant to drag you to this. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you will go again, apologizing, just like always. Ah. Though I must say, you've been all over the newspapers the past few days. Room University professor murdered in cold blood by... But obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? Of course not. You have to believe me, I didn't do it. I, I could never murder someone. Then there's nothing to worry about. Straighten yourself up, hold your head high. You mean... I believe you. I know you're innocent, Ryosuke. I wish I could hear someone pronounce his name so I know how to say it. Kazuma Asogi, my best friend, also in his second year at Yumi University. But he's far more clever than I, a star student in fact. He's even a qualified lawyer, impressive considering he's still an undergraduate. It's not that impressive. The very concept of lawyers is only a few years old, here in Japan anyway. My qualifications don't mean much yet. You said exactly the same thing three days ago. I'm proud to have a friend like you, because we truly three days ago. Yes, that's when all this started. Congratulations, Kazuma. It looks like you're going to get to study abroad at last. I know. I've been forever dreaming of this day. Finally, these government elites have acknowledged my academic achievements and successes in court. So you'll be representing Japan. As you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world, I'm really happy for you and proud as your friend. There's not a soul in the university who doesn't know his reason. He's a living legend. It's like there's some mysterious aura blowing around his temple. I want to bring about change in our own legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. The heart of the British Empire. I wish I could see it too. Then come with me. I have a wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty City of London together. If only it were that simple. Oh dear, look at the time. I better be going. Alright, see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a while longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. So we should have left. It was straight after that. That's when it happened. Asoge, I have a word. Professor, I didn't know you were coming. Well, this case has personal significance to me. But never mind that for now. Asoge. You should go immediately to the judge's chambers. His Excellency's chambers? Why? He was looking for you before. You're advocating for the defense in this trial with a sudden decision. Seems like there may be some confusion about procedures today as a result. Who is this man? He was though I'd seen him at a university before. I mean, dude, we're supposed to be like lawyers and good at observations. He said he's a professor already. I should accompany you. All right, then, you know, you know, I'll see you in the court. Yes, thanks, Kazuma. Silence over here. Uh, this is awkward. Yeah, tell me about it. If I may. Yes, sorry. You must be the defendant. Rinosuke Naruhudu, I believe. Yes, yes, that's right. My name's Eugene Mikutuba. I'm a professor of forensic medicine at Yumi University. Ah, Professor Victor Mikutuba. I've heard that name from Kazumi before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma studying abroad. 
Sugis told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. As such, I fear you should know. You know what? Well, as you've no doubt heard, Asuga has been granted permission to go and study Great Britain. However, if you should fail to defend you in today's trial, I'm afraid that uh, the f that that permission will be revoked and never granted again. What? Damn. I have more pressure. Uh, as I suspected, you were unaware of this. I had a feeling Asuga may have chosen to tell you. He's agreed to defend me knowing that if he fails, dreams will be shared. But I don't understand. Why would the government do such a thing? The administration has to choose from a large number of applicants for overseas studies. It's very difficult to pursue them, to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable of circumstances. I don't believe it. But I... I didn't do it, I swear it. I'm not a murderer. I'm sure that's true. Nevertheless, I can assume you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain peculiarities about today's trail. Sorry, what, what do you mean? You'll soon understand. Once proceedings get underway. But then what should I do? Well, naturally, I'm not going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a conviction. Right, so. As soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens, you must answer for anyone else. You must say, I do. I do. But what will the question be? Surely not. Do you accept the accusations, accusations brought before you? Of course not. Defendant. Court is about to begin. Proceed to the courtroom at once. Ah, let's see more. Superstitious discussions are to be cut short. So allow me to summarize. Kazumi Asogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Of course, as a defendant, the final decision is yours. What are you waiting for? Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving. No point in anyone advocating for the likes of you anyway. What? Nice beamers. This is it. If this trial goes badly, because his dreams of studying abroad are over, and what's more, he'll be found guilty of murder. And so, you have absolutely no idea what lay ahead. I embarked on that unforgettable trial. My one and only chance of proving my innocence, the trial. That would decide my destiny. Dun dun dun. 22nd of all. Now I am Supreme Court Judicature judge, Court True 2. So, uh, this is a courtroom. The Supreme Court of Judicature. No court in the land has more power. I don't much like the look of those people sitting in the public gallery. Lots of military and other uniforms in there. The powers that be have dim demanded that this to that this be a secret trial. Secret trial? A trial that's close to ordinary members of the public. Only military and government officials may attend. What but why? It'll become clear in time. For now, you need to concentrate during the city. It's about to begin. Well, the court will now hear the trial of Rinosuke Naruhudo. Sorry for butchering the names, guys. I just, I just find it hard. It's difficult for me to pronounce them. The prosecution is ready, Your Excellency. As is defense. Before we begin, there is one point of order I would like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last minute request for a change of advocate. That's great, George. So let's see. I made the request myself. I am the only advocate guy. It's funny. 
Normal procedure is for the defendant's advocacy to be decided two days prior to the trial. As this is an unusual circumstance, I am obliged to ask for a final confirmation now. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? This is it. This must be the question. Who's going to defend me? That's the question for some reason. But then if I say I do... I need to answer quickly. What should I do? Let's do it. Your Excellency, no confirmation is needed. As I am standing here beside the defendant, I hope it's clear who will advocate. Uh oh. <laughs> His eye movement is hilarious. What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? <laughs> I, I would like to inform the court that that I, Rinosuke Naruhudu, will be defending myself. You'll be. What? What are you playing at, Rinosuke? The first time Kotobo told me everything just now before the trial, he did what? He said that your dreams of studying abroad will be dashed if you were to lose. It means you don't have faith in me. Oh boy, I think I won't be able to get you off. No, it's not that really. It's just that, well, on the off chance that things don't go well for me, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you. Yes, I know that's how you feel, which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. This professor Mukotobu should have stuck his nose in. Very well. The court hereby recognizes the defendant's desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Man, Kazuma's gonna turn on us. He's gonna become a prosecutor one day. We're gonna be competing in battles and trials. I'm calling it right now. Well, well. Does the accused admit defeat already? Renounce his own counsel, really. Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent. He's confident because he can speak for himself. Isn't that so, no, Kudusan? Oh, yes, exactly. Exactly what I wasn't thinking. I'm not confident at all. In fact, my mind's completely blank. I realize you're in charge now, but still. Try not to look so bewildered. For a mere university student to be brought before the Supreme Court. You must have pre perpetrated the most heinous crime indeed. As you are no doubt aware, this is the Supreme Court of the Judicature of Japan. Accordingly, the very highest standards of conduct are expected of all. Do I make myself clear, defendant? Yes, Your Excellency. It is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. My competence? Excuse me. What does that mean? He's questioning your ability to do the job. Well, he can't be questioning it more than I am. So, let's start with the very simplest of questions. Uh, uh, yes. Can I say before the court the name of the victim in this case? Well, that's easy enough. I've heard his name more times than I can care to remember. Uh, wait. Uh, so I guess I can even remember that. What was it again? It's okay. Let me guess. My mind's gonna work. Um, remember so well. All the relevant information for this case can be found in the court record. But, but I can't even find that. It's simple. You can access the court record with a press of R. If you ever find it, forgot something, just consult that. It's all there. So I press right. So tell me this. Court record. This is the list of evidence. Searching people. I need this other bit in here. Okay. There is John H. Wilson. Visiting. Professor of Medicine at the University of British Empire. Are you the killer, Eugene Kotoba? Anyway. 
So remember, everything to do with the good case can be found in the court record. Now you better not keep His Excellency waiting any longer. Go on. Find the victim in the people section in the court record and press it to present trial now. Yes! The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. At least you can remember the name of an esteemed member of your university. Dr. Wilson was a visiting professor from England invited to your university three years ago. Indeed, which is the reason why this case has such profound implications. The British Empire is at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. And as most of you will be aware, we have just signed a new treaty together. After lengthy negotiations, there can't be anyone who hasn't heard of the unusual Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. And yet, despite these delicate circumstances, the blood of an Englishman has been spilled on our soil. You two are both undergraduates at the Imperial U University, aren't you? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education, have you no honor? This case is coming under great scrutiny from our allies on the other side of the world. The court therefore wishes for a speedy resolution to this matter. Otherwise, a feeble government is scared of upsetting England's policymakers. We're getting political here, guys. And their convenient and expandable scapegoat to blame for this crime. So that's why this trial has become the has these unusual peculiarities, is it? Exactly, our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. All because the victim was an Englishman. Yes, Dr. Wilson was an Englishman. But nationalities and treaties won't make any difference for me here. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'll see you later. A little longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high class restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow, then, partner. The British Empire. Wow, it's incredible to think. Wait. I've seen them at a university. I'm sure he's visiting a professor from Great Britain. I don't know his name, but still, I should go and say hello. Why? So I went over to Professor's table. I introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. Now then, let me pose my next question to your defendant. Yes, Your Excellency. How did this Professor of Medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson, lose his life? State before the court the cause of death. Cause of death. Well, obviously that was. Loss of blood from a gunshot to the chest. The bullet did not pass through the victim's neck. A gunshot to the chest. And as a court, every surgeon must be backed by evidence. Yeah, I know what to do. Find the piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death and say, present. Do it now. Yes! Um, well... According to this document, the victim suffered a hemorrhagic death due to gunshot trauma. Learn to read, you imbecile. That's the post-mortem report, I take it. Sorry, yes, that's right. The post-mortem report. In the West, the doctor did six corpses to identify the cause of death and an autopsy. But here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. Oh, I see. This is I'm going to be tested for. Alright, let's see. Here. This is a so called photographic print of the scene of the crime. 
can be clearly discerned scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the powder explosion. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Thank you, guys. The court will accept this part of the scientific evidence to the record. That's a photograph of him. That's not the one we see a photo. Oh wow. First time this guy's ever seen a photograph of him. It's this one. It's clearly superior to a drawing. The detail is incredible. Very well. I am satisfied with your answers. Let us start the trial. Certainly, I said so. So without further ado, in order to better appraise the court with the facts of the case. The prosecution here provide, uh, hereby calls his first witness, who was there to see the crime when it happened. Uh, this is me, dude. Hmm. I think I may have worked out with the professor at the bond. Professor, you need to fill the photo like this. Clearly, you're the defense lawyer today, not me. But that doesn't mean. Well, I can still act as your assistant. Oh, of course. I am speaking in fully simply said. Stephen Sully must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Really has been sticking his oar in, hasn't he? Maybe any help you can give me would be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. Kazuma. Well, my first piece of advice is rein in that crazy look of bewilderment and control the cold sweats. And if you rein in that crazy head bad and control the cold stares first. Oh, that was funny. Made me a little chuckle. Witness, state your name and occupation for the court, please. Of course, my name is Satoru Hosu. I am the head waiter at a western style restaurant called La Carnaval. Whoa. Um, you're right, you seem to be coughing up somewhere. It's a regular occurrence, it really doesn't bother me. But I really, really should. As everyone knows, the capital southeastern quarter was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. It's become a very fashionable district now, full of hotels to accommodate overseas guests. This grim crime occurred in one of the district's so called restaurants, an occidental eatery, three days ago. Understood, Sarah. You will kindly tell the court everything you can about the incident. Okay, sir. Uh, no pity in conjectures from the aspiring lawyer boy, please. Oh, I may be a bit aspiring. It was just after 2 p.m. on the day in question. A few diners in advertisement. The lunchtime rush was over, and there were only three tables still occupied. Hardly no mess in the place. Oh, this guy's compound with a lens or something. This was when I was in the kitchen putting away crockery and cocktail. Gotcha. So I went out in the dining room and see what had happened. Found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair. Standing immediately beside him, gun in hand, was the accused university yes. student. Hold on, let me just clarify something here. Well, I did pick up a gun I found laying on the floor beside the professor. I, I didn't shoot him. I believe I asked you to refrain from pity interjections. The court wishes to listen to his report of what he saw, you amateur. Next time you interrupt at an inappropriate time, you will be penalized. Defendant. I warned you, you have your chance to fight back. For now, you will just quietly listen to the witness. I may confirm one point here. 
Standing beside Victor Bergari's hand was the same man we saw here in Puerto Rico. Let me see. Yes, without question. I see. And apart from the accused, was there anyone else standing beside the victim? on the table but the deceased Englishman and their sister. Oh wait, what did he just say? There was no one else around that table. What can that mean? That's that's just not right. When I went over to Dr. Winston Wilson to say hello a woman sitting opposite him at this table. Really? I mean, that's not something you really could have missed. I've been warned about interjecting, but still, what should I do? Just wait and see. I desperately want to say something, but I was told not to interject. If your partner should tell you to study, you're the kind of man who would might lay the two work on the track. I suppose I am, I never have cared about the Ruby University otherwise. But you can't just always follow the rules in life, you know. I don't see what you want to say right now, you just seriously regret it when you find me guilty. Alright, let's go. Oh, I forget what these are guys do. There is something I want to say, I'm just gonna shut my eyes and yes! Just a moment, please. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day, I'm sure, but there was a lady sitting with him in the same oh, room. Dear me, dear me, what are we going to do with you? With your blank disregard for court proceedings. I'm beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could it be that the accused, this mere student, is not a real lawyer after all? But I'm sure what I saw. Is there any chance you're mistaken? Perhaps your memory of events is hazy? No. The deceased gentleman came to my I don't believe it. I actually have a rough plan of the restaurant as it was that day. Please have a look if you can. That's right, I'm afraid I used the back of the car. It was a turbulent situation. However, as you can see, the gentleman in question was seated alone. Well, we created a very constituous waiter. Thank you, sir. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, no. at once. Oh, of course, we will. Oh, it was the dark numbers. I'm completely calm and collected until now. <coughs> Something certainly seems to have shaken him. <coughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> so, the court has now heard the precise the moment the gunshot was heard in the restaurant, the only person in close proximity to the victim was the defendant on trial today. It would seem we are looking at the black and white case here. The defendant, no who. Yes, Your Excellency? If you admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look mercifully upon you. In other words, you may have some small reprieve in terms of your inevitable punishment. I told this waiter was as an unsworn witness in order to explain the details of the case to the court. But I must warn the defense, if you are determined to pursue matters further in this trial, the prosecution has decisive evidence from sworn witnesses who were present at the scene of the crime. What do you think I should do, Kazuma? What do you mean? 
guilty one way or another. Seems maybe sensible to plead guilty at the stage and hope for a more lenient sentence. They don't keep telling me that this trial is unusual by these strict regularities. You said it, Professor Nokotoba said it, and so has the judge and the prosecution. I, I'm scared of what lies ahead if I push this. As I said from the outset, I believe you're innocent, I trust you, and yet, despite knowing that, you're willing now to throw that trust back in my face, is that it? What? If the accused is in fact innocent, then a defense lawyer is duty bound to prove that innocence by whatever means necessary. Are you just going to abandon that duty? Are you going to give up on yourself? The battle hasn't even begun yet. Defense, please, not guilty, Your Excellency. We invite the prosecutions to stop making empty threats and bring out its witnesses. Then we'll just see how decisive this evidence really is. Indeed. Prosecutor Uchi, please continue proceedings. Tisk, well, you were warned. The young can't be so reckless. You know, many call me a saint, but I can be a devil when I want to be. Uh, in a few short moments from now, that dumb strong young mouth of yours will be silenced forever. The prosecution calls its next witness. Very well, officer. Bring forth the witness at once. Witnesses, kindly state your names and occupations for the court. Yes, sir. Great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant Risa Nose, for the Federal Reserve. Myself, a found employee as a purveyor of fine articles of antiquity from the effortlessness of our nation, and conduct my trade from Rasuti, a humble premise of the second district. Great Kurokota, at your service. An antique dealer and a soldier. What an unusual pair. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant on the day in question. They must be the diners and relative of the waiter mentioned. Myself, I have personally drank tea for the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question always past noon. I do not infrequently converse with interested parties regarding the curious with which I make my business. Understand a word that old man is saying. He's an antique dealer. It sounds like he's a regular at my current bar. He seeks out potential customers who may have interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. He obviously targets La Carnival because it's a high class restaurant with which, well, listen, well, to be honest, that surgeon looks more like he'll be a seller rather than a buyer. And now, both witness the precise moment of this most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Affirmative. The enemy wait until was seen attacking a foreigner in what could only be described as an act of war, so it was that black uniformed Rogan infantry man over there who unloaded his firearm, sir. This remains impossible to understand with the other. But Almost sure I heard a strange noise during that last thing he said. So that's all this prosecution was for. The soldier is claiming that you actually saw the precise moment you shot the victim dead. Yes. Well, I understand if you're uncomfortable. I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. Now, court will hear your formal testimony, please. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment of the incident occurred. Yes, sir. Standing by your report, sir. Mm, I said the memories of the most as soon as it got to me. The witness saw. I was in jesting a revelation. Stick at the restaurant, I have a tactical decision, a special 
so I was so virtuous and particularly fine golden military general. At that precise moment, the fire team, the fire arm, was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions from the corners. Black uniformed versatility cadet fired on the English civilian and from the back the crowd gave it a reason. I was on my hands and knees investigating the robots and mysteriously at the city precise screen peculiar. Well, so you, Sergeant Officer, actually witnessed the final moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired a weapon and the victim. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. A wicked university cadet, sir. Cruel and unforgettable enemy. What times we live in. An English gentleman may be assailed in the broad light of day. But, but this is ridiculous. I'm shooting you. Is that really true? Yes. All I did was pick up a gun when I saw him laying on the floor. After I said hello to Dr. Liss, I went back to my table and sat drinking coffee. Then when I finished, I get up from my seat to leave the rest of the room. And I noticed an English-made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. I thought perhaps the professor had robbed it. So I went down and just as I was picking it up... Truth, there's obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. Someone who used to witness testimony to prove that the criminal was, or is. So you must exercise your right to cross examine the witness. Do it now. As we have heard, Your Excellency, there is no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. It is time to bring this despicable student to justice. Certainly, testimony the court has just heard uh, liberates me of Therefore, it is my grave duty to declare the verdict of... Hmm? What in the name of the emperor and the, the meaning of this outburst? I am, um, I mean, the defense. Mass the right, it's right to cross examination. Dear me, dear me, look at this. Watch him like you heard Bam Boy next door told me to do it. How pathetic. Prosecution objects. This is a clear waste of time. Defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out a cross examination? Defense is asserting its right to a cross examination, whether or not you think he's capable of it, is irrelevant. Very well. Let the defense conduct the cross examination of the witnesses. Alright, this is where the battle really begins. Oh, I don't even know what I have to do in a cross examination. Is it obvious to the lies in the witness test statement? Ah. He didn't fire the gun, which means that the soldier said it has to be a lie. And yes, but it's just a case of proving that and the key of doing that is evidence. Well, evidence. All you need to do is present some decisive and undisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. Now, let's go. Right then, it's all or nothing. I was suggesting a regulation beef steak at the restaurant while having a technical discussion with the right man. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden retriever in the military. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. A black uniformed versatile cadet fired on the English sailor from the back. Cow little weasel. 
almost on my hands and knees investigating the whereabouts of the mysterious sounding crystal. I understand. The question is, how? Like I said before, the key is, is using evidence to be collected. You can examine and present evidence while a witness is giving testimony. Look for statement, details about the piece of evidence, and compare with the facts. Somewhere in there, you'll find something that doesn't add up. In other words, an inconsistency. An inconsistency. When you find a settlement, statements from a piece of evidence that seem to contradict each other present your facts and you expect you to agree to what this point. Just be careful because if you say the contradiction there is a racism you get a penalty. During the penalties the defense case will fall apart and receive a guilty verdict. So that's it. Go use the evidence in the court record Find inconsistency with the witness statement. Alright, I'll give it a try. Okay, here the witness statements over and over. As many times you like. Just keep your head and be measured in your attack. Good luck with it. The meaning of the subordinate, plus this a photographic print of my mustache. An inconsistency, sir. And yes, there's clear inconsistency here. That's coincidence. What can this print possibly tell us? We don't really know. Well, obviously, I don't know what I'm going to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. Hmm. I think this proves beyond any doubt, Your Excellency. But there's no place for an after student here in this grand courtroom. Hmm. Oh, please. Sure, it doesn't require an explanation. It could be more plain. Spill it out. It would be an insult to the court. Prepare from a single glass of the photographic print presented by the defense. And there's a clear discrepancy here. What? Sergeant Isu Nosa. Yes, sir. What, sir? The statement just made was this. The black in the first bar said he cut it. Fired on the English civilian and from the back of the car. Yes, sir. Probably, oh, sir. Just witnessed the crime on my own. Yes. But no. It just can't be. And why not get it? Because, because, because. Take a close look at the print. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from wound, wound to the chest. Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the copper shot Victor from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? Oh, um. Is that a baby? What was that? Something just popped up from behind me. I could have pushed it down again. Certain, there's a clear discrepancy of the facts here. We do not agree, Sergeant Nosa. Yes, sir. I 
this juncture, that would appear to be the speed. So the moment of his acquired demons join eyes away. Delicious, the carnival station. What? The last testimony the court heard was proven one thing beyond reasonable doubt. This witness saw you missing nothing. Did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. That's, that's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. Cadet there. He was pulling the firearm directly at the victim's back. Yes. But I never pulled the gun. All I did was pick it up off the floor. Hmm. And you, oh man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either. And myself, I have already been quite clear. The gunshot, interesting or not, it was far too busy. Too busy on the floor, sorry. Oh, you did Something for treasure. Treasure. Indeed, a void era Koban, my prize coin. On each occasion when I visit that restaurant, I give my head to you to place in my bosom pocket a particular trinket of interest from my shop. Razuti. In the hope of meeting a rich diner who went out to buy it from me. On the day under scrutiny, it was to the military man that I prefer my holy trade. Believed that he would purchase such a rare find, but did not. But I was presented with little alternative. And then, after averting my eyes for the, for the briefest of moments, was there no more? Simply vanished. Coupon vanished. Hunting around under the table, it was in case the ink cap had fallen there, but then it happened. You heard the gunshot. Indeed, I did, but I heeded it not, for I was concerned only with finding my absconded holy treasure. Nothing could distract me. Out of interest, did you find a coin in the end? No. Hmm, I see. The green table bay. Precious holy Koban was lost in it. No doubt, some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. I'm sure everyone present is aware. This case demands swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how sub subservient our government feels it must be to the British. It will be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. Hmm. What is your position, Crosby? We're in after excellency. The defendant may have fled the tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. My witnesses have further testimonies to make. Explain. Upon hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear only one person who could possibly have committed this despicable crime. The equally despicable defendant. There's no second one. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Uh, very well. 
Court of Right State, this is Testify Again, you will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegations. Is that clear? That is clear as critical glass here, excellent. Let's search, one search. Awaiting signals to testify, sir. Excuse me, but there's something or someone peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative. The newest member of the Musa family to rise up to his rank, sir. Named Aido. Hmm. Some of those traps are assigned the sergeant. You need to strap to afford a nanny. Aido, give me a shot. Your father's about to quill the enemy. Watch and learn, my boy. This testimony. The true culprit. Even if what I saw was at the precise moment the firearm was destroyed, it's almost the same thing. Yes. Portuguese gun at the foreign man, he was a young lad in black. Damage. Furthermore, a visual search of the premise at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the English man, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniform could have been this batch, the Englishman, over and out. Mm, this testimony yes. is certainly compelling. Wait, that's, that's nonsense. The victim, Beckles, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at this table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. Objection! If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court to speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. It is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographed evidence of this fact. Is this photograph burned in the scene of the crime council? Indeed. The table which the victim was dining, the two men investigated immediately after the incident. But plainly we seen there was only one witness set. Certainly. Based on the appearance of the sprint, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. But this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. At the same time, the makers of her came to their son alone as well. That's not true. I saw her. I swear that I saw one of them. It would seem that we'd be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain one, one time after all. The witness to swear to serve you. No further rule for now. These are very sensitive political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh of the treaty with Great Britain. I think that I, Takushi Atri, will have contributed to the ability of these two great empires in some way. Stand tall, Yusuke. It's not over yet. What? If what you say is true, there's something going on here behind the scenes. Now's your chance to expose it, to draw out the truth in your cross-examination. I don't know. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witnesses, but make it quick, understood? Fisk rules can be so unbending at times.
There is more visual search of the premise of the time confirmed that they were the only person uh, present. Indeed, alone with the Englishman, Daniel Bento. Let's go back to see. Yes! Gotcha. Yes, it may be true that I was holding the gun at the time of the point. Ah, but I told you already. Only because I picked it up off the ground. So obviously, as the culprit, that's the only way you can explain it away. I had just finished drinking my coffee. I was about to leave our side room. I noticed it gone the floor and I thought that this was sweet, so I picked it up. And at exact, exactly that moment, bang. A gunshot rang in my ears. Events beyond our control, life is. Sorry, what do you need? In your case, you found a pistol on the floor, picked it up, which, which precipitated this testing. Whereas, conversely, I failed to pick up the core gun from the floor and fired myself with an equal testing predicament as a result. Anyway, the fact remains, myself, I did see you. Pistol in hand, standing over the foreigner. Yes! You must have noticed something else. Someone else did. I'll there was a lady there. So you ruined and came to the point one moment. I'll time it again. I feel I'm growing callous in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this one. between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. I know, of course, the place was almost empty. That's what you'd expect. Sadly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of time to eat. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day. Uh, he was alone. Yes, Your Excellency. There was indeed a reason. There was. This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, Counsel? Is a medical report card, Your Excellency. It seemed that the victim had an appointment at the clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm. Auto clinic, yes. It would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November, noon past 1 p.m. Very dated, Nathan. Yes, the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. Prosecution felt no need to submit the seven as before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder. What do you think? Well, it's hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you've requested to be entered for court evidence. Reference evidence if you think could be useful. Uh, yeah, why not? Yes! I'd like to ask for the medical report that this way as a result. So what grounds? Um, the court has already heard conclusive with this testimony. So this shot would be extortion. Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival the rest of are no concern. Whether or not the concern is up to us to decide, we have the right to explore all possible avenues. I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for submission. Very well, the court will grant the defense request. <laughs> Youngsters these days are forever asserting their rights. It's the most disturbing trend. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. Right now, with new clues. 
have to work the turn as possible. I think it doesn't seem like the first strike to hear you. Hmm. You can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you like. But it's the day after the festival ready for you. Or perhaps you've forgotten that these witnesses just want to no room for doubt. Perhaps one of you might have known, not have noticed, but for both of you to have failed to see a professor's dining companion is not possible. Unfortunately for you, defendant nor who did this, this is not the case of the two witnesses alone. Sorry. The way, whose testimony occurred her earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said that the victim was alone. Precisely. In other words, you're the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I... It's such a woman present in the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. And no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blanked waste of the court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. work. You're pulling some new information now. Well, yes, but I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see a milk report you got before. And this. Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine a little further details. Notice some pieces of this bit of magnifying glass. Let me examine. Press A. You can take a closer look. Okay, okay. Okay, let me do it. I don't need to be freaking spoon fed everything around here. Do it. Take the evidence all directions. Okay, okay. Okay, let's take a look. You can move the crosshairs around the hunt for clues that may have been missed before. When the crosshairs start to pulsate. Press A to investigate further. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical course. Okay, okay, okay. I caught the only cold I've ever had in my life, and I remember even though I felt awful already, I had to have this hideous injection by my right arm, or I'll never forget it. But there was only one cold the whole life. Anyway, I don't think this is a clinic where they treat people for illnesses like that. Let's keep looking for clues. History. Ah, there's no entry for the day. The professor was killed. Extraction of malar and topical anesthesia. Extraction of malar, you mean he had a tooth taken out? It would seem so. Just before the incident, he had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they use laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although, it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you feeling pain. 
Ah, there's a cautionary note from the medical precautionary as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post procedure until the stage effects have passed. Hmm. Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. With this new information, the meaning of the one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time we listen to Stem 1 again, don't you? Definitely. Even if I wasn't. Okay, and then swap. Same thing. Yes, the victim has been prohibited from consuming anything but water as the fact that it has not been brought to the court's attention. That's right. Some sense of the time of the incident. It's that particular statement to a different light. It's the only way you should wait a while. Here we go again. Here I'm the accused. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuo. I can see it quite clearly in the cross examination you just carried out. When you raise your hand straight up like that so purposefully. You knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. This is the medical report belonging to the victim. Ah, I see. And? I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written in the medical report with your witness statement, something clearly doesn't matter. Dear me, dear me, have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurish drivel. But let's see if I can explain it was you might understand. Because after 2 p.m., the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may, may or not before that time is completely irrelevant. But, but that's, um, remember, so you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. Should we prolong the trial any further? Mm. The witness testimony, testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all for the simple reason that there is no one else besides this pale faced pupil who could possibly. This medical report, medical report card has nothing to do with the case. Do you really believe that? What? That outpours health petrified me, boy. Of course I believe it. How could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because of the clinic which issued the report card is a dental clinic. Is it a dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted. What is this now? And furthermore, the 
I told you that as a result, the victim had been forbidden from eating. It's just what are you trying to say, cadet? You had orders left to eat, so what? It's all written up in here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post-procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that, that can't... Son? What, boy? What? As you just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally, there's more. You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. But that can't possibly be the case. Because the victim, as we now know, had just had one of his teeth extracted and was still experiencing the effects of the anesthesia. Expertly done, partner. Objection! What, what is this nonsense, you little upstart? The baseless accusations. Just, just look at this photographic evidence. You can really see the plate of food at the victim's Objection. table. Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about, or can't you follow the logic? How, how dare you? I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant case have turned. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm? Yes, most definitely. So having just gone there, gone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat? Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who in fact was eating the picture beefsteak? The court will hear the opinion of defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel? answer this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of your turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um, the person you stick at the victim's table must have been... Obviously, you can only use someone else who was sitting at the victim's table. You will not let this go, will you? There was no such person. There was because I saw. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim could have been eating anything. Here we have evidence of a half-eaten stick on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else there eating it. We have strong evidence to support our search. Certain. Certain. It's clearly that these witness testimonies are unreliable. If the court decides to push through a ruling at the stage, we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Are you insane? You, you would take on the government? Don't worry, counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them. These two witnesses in the stand. What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. Complicit murder? No. Hold it. Negative. There, there was no mention of this at the tactical meeting. I was just following orders. That's right, as the man says. Just say you never saw the gentleman. That's what they um, told us. You just say? Well, um, no. We're just following orders. Now, hold on, lad. I was, um, say you never saw the gentlewoman. When 
you say gentleman, do you mean... You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? Objection! What, what is the meaning of all this? These witnesses... Can you false statements? Is this true, you pair? Just one. Just one simple... Slip of the tongue. Order, order, counsel, explain what is going on here. It's painfully clear now, you tried to prevent those witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not, the prosecution knows nothing of this. So who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? That's classified. So you prepared to be tried as a consp conspirator to this murder, are you? You, you wouldn't. This can't be happening. No, sir. Judging from the way they reacted to this, I said they were sworn to science by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe the country had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there only be a handful of possibilities. It could not have been the government, the military could have only been here for the police, I suppose. Well? Any ideas about who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to science his witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. Seems to me whoever has tried to make them keep their mouth shut. Of course, we need evidence before we can make any further accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it really was, was really did wield this or her power here. How, how can we possibly... Remember how we made progress before? This piece of evidence more detail for you clue as a result. Yes, yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re examine everything, make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers. Great, makes sense. I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every to God, I knew nothing. And what does the defense have to say about all of this? Um, well, Your Excellency, uh, no time to think. Shut up, the first thing that comes to my head. Besides the prosecution, any person with the necessary influence. Yes. There. What do you make of that? I think, counsel, that you may want to close your ears as well as your eyes. Otherwise, the size of this appointment in the courtroom may very well defend you. Uh, if you feel you must close your eyes in the crisis, might I suggest keep mouth shut next time? Damn. That's the penalty, y'all. Uh. I don't know what it's about, but it's exactly. And so it's pain sometimes. I don't have a great deal of influence myself, but believe me, you can find other ways to make you keep your mouth shut as well. This guy. Yes. There. Oh, God damn it.
victim himself? Maybe the waiter. Yes. That would be two for service. Oh. Possible reason would the waiter have to make those witnesses give false statements? Not to mention the fact they even heard a waiter could not possibly have that level of influence. For once, I would agree with you. If that is the man truly were a waiter. What? Where? Come on. Time to hit the court with the truth. The truth of my son's real identity as proven by the evidence. Card. Chief Inspector. <sighs> Dude, come on. card yes. the plan for the restaurant sketch of the main question I agree she has the attention to detail but I'm not sure I conclude anything sorry your excellency it's the back of the card it's the back of the back of the card best of interest I beg your pardon or perhaps I should have said the front yes front of the back of the card, that's where the telling detail is. Somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say. So sketch the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his back of the business card. The front of that business card reveals the man in question's profession. He's truly profession. True profession. But that's surely good, good gracious. That's right, Your Excellency. Card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Bureau Police Bureau. What? The, the waiter is a police detective? I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? The Bureau Police Bureau has immense power, absolute power, as far as regular civilians are concerned. So, witnesses, they understand. Was in fact the waiter who gave you the orders. Oh. Um, well. What the? Damn. Inspector. I was worried sometimes this might happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketches evidence, I realized it was a possibility. Oh my god, they're really gonna... Yeah, they flash back the moment they ask for the card. Okay. Strength care investigation is flawlessly is my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusually careless mistake. So you need to say, you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? Oh, of course, your salary must be I was working undercover. Undercover? Yes, there have been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently. I were investigating, I decided to get a job there as a waiter working undercover. Incidents at the restaurant, kind of incidents. That would be classified police information, which I'm not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Oh, very well then, Inspector. But you will elaborate on one point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. You have just heard of the information of these two of this beside you. 
but at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. Is that indeed true? Clearly, he would also have been aware of this person's presence, having served at the table in question. However, your testimony is now alluded to this other diner, therefore, I am led to assume that in your professional capacity, a police officer required these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? Correct your excellency. Unbelievable. Hmm, as I suspected. As soon as I heard a gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what happened. The victim sat slumped his chain beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim seat, there was a young lady, whom I guess to be an English woman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the bureau. It was then that I received some special orders. Special orders, you mean to say. Remove the English woman from the scene at once. So when they cleared that the English woman's presence at the restaurant was to be concluded, those were my orders. But, but what if this English woman was the killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. The Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. An Englishman has been an Englishman has been murdered on soil. To name an Englishwoman as the primary suspect, well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the Phantom Woman's case. It's not right. One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? The university is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. I'm fairly certain that one of them studying in the medical facility research laboratory is a young English woman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you're choosing candidate for overseas studies tour. You mean when I wrote the movie scene of the crime, I thought it prudent to check our identity first. But of course, imagine you named the lady in question at once, Inspector. The English woman sitting in the vestibule first the table was a certain Miss Jazzily Brett. She is indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of the University of Medical Facility. Well, what is happening here? I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all the evidence of this lady's presence at the scene. and ordered those witnesses to make no mention of her at their testimonies. It must now be up to your excellent side how to deal with the situation. Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been un underpinned by a particular critical promise, crucial promise, namely that the victim was dining alone. However, as we have now discovered that this premise is false, it will be a desecration, uh, dis desecration of our justice system, not a truth in case of holding at this point. But, 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 Your Excellency, that would mean missing the new deadline by ruling the telegraph from Great Britain. Our government will surely be very displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, Kazuso. I don't allow the government of our country or any other to oppose the proceedings of my courtroom. Inspector Sunada. Yes, sir. You will locate this user and escort her to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. As well as your excellency. But, but that means you're going against the special orders you were given by the police bureau. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. So would it be a problem? <coughs> Nothing will get in my way. Court will adjourn briefly. The prosecution must call the English student Jesse Brett to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes. 
six six. Good. I will have thirty minute research before proceeding. Confu con whatever. Continuing. To be continued. And with that to be continued here as well, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that first look at the great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Uh, available now on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. And I also believe PC. Not so sure about that one. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys are planning to continue on and see where the plot goes and what other cases you'll have to take over. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.